So it's something that's been on my mind lately and I've been seeing a lot more. I don't know if it's YouTube algorithms pushing stuff on me or if I just dove down a hopeless rabbit hole. Who knows? But uh, something that's been on my mind is this feeling that my generation has and many others that it's impossible to get ahead now with where they're at, where what you make isn't enough to get by on. And that is such a hopeless pit of frustration. <laughs> Every day you go to work and you know you're just barely going to get by. And honestly, I think about it like a, like a bar chart because <laughs> my brain is like that. And I think about your lifestyle and it's here. You know, this is what it takes to maintain your lifestyle. And then you have your income and it's here. And if they're equal, you're never getting ahead. There's nothing you can do. Every single day is going to be exactly the same for you, day in and day out. You're gonna to go to work, you're gonna make just enough to get by, and uh, that's the story of you. So it's like, what can you do? Okay, so we've got income, we got lifestyle. Hmm, we can pull one lever, try to lower our lifestyle costs, but that's incredibly difficult for a lot of people. I mean, it could be really simple. You could just enjoy cooking at home, stop eating out, stop going and getting your $5 Starbucks. What a ridiculous comment that is. But there is a grain of truth in it. You know, you can lower your costs incrementally and that's just, you know, gonna peep it down there just a little bit. But uh, that can be very difficult to lower your cost of living because where are you living? If you still have to pay rent, you might have to live on a, a very dangerous side of town to lower your rent substantially, okay? Uh, we can't all live with our parents, and those of you who can, good for you. Please take advantage of that. Make them dinner from time to time. I'm sure they'd appreciate it, but we can't all do that. So that could be rather difficult to lower your cost of living, okay? Um, what about increasing your income, right? Well, that's another level we could pull. Fair, fair. How do we do that? I mean, you could get a gig economy job, start driving Uber in the evenings when you get off work. Sure. I mean, that's that's a thing you could do. Usually when you're getting off work, you're pretty tired already. So now you're going to go to another job. Oh, that sucks. And <laughs> some people do it and have done it successfully. It can be done, but... Holy cannoli, is it going to take a massive internal effort to keep doing that every day? You're going to be exhausted, and you're not going to get a lot of time off. Uh, sure. Um, you could work in the evenings on a new skill so you could get a better job over time. Again, same problem. You are exhausted after work already, and now you're going to spend 20 minutes to 4 hours building some skill and anything at all so that you can change careers, jump to a higher paid salary. Sure, that's also possible. And it's the same issue of, of getting you, for lack of a better term, off your butt and working more than you're already working. Okay, okay. Um, you could build something that you then sell yourself, whether it's a small business, a large business, the next Facebook, doesn't matter. Maybe you're selling arts and crafts on Etsy. That's a thing. And if you are in a place where the thing that you're building is something you enjoy doing, it's going to take a lot less effort to actually build the thing out, right? So I know a few people, they actually do the Etsy thing, and it's not a lot of overhead. I mean, it costs almost nothing for them to do. It just costs the materials. And there's not a lot of margins. I mean, you're not selling millions of dollars of the little crafts that they make. Sure. But over time, that is a little extra money in your pocket to kind of raise that income bar a little bit above that lifestyle bar. And with that difference, you got to be careful too, right? Because as you bring in more money, then you're going to have lifestyle creep. You know, like, oh, I have a few extra dollars. Maybe I can start eating out again. Maybe I can get a new car. Maybe I can go on lavish, expensive trips. <laughs> every single day to wherever I want to go and then that gap closes again and you're right back where you were getting nowhere <laughs> because every day what you put in is what goes out and this riddle is um, scary frustrating 
unnerving, potentially anxiety and depression inducing. And you can listen to both sides of that spectrum between negativity and positivity, whatever it is. You have the side of negativity saying it'll never work out, you can never get ahead. Even when I bring in an extra thousand dollars that just goes straight to student loan debt. Sure, sure, absolutely. And then you can listen to the other side of the spectrum where it's like, hustle, grind, get the thing done. As long as you keep pushing through, you're going to have some success over time. Okay. Personally, where I fall on that spectrum is, is me weighing 5,000 pounds and sitting on the whole spectrum, covering everything from hopelessness all the way over here to like, it's going to work out. And... I think that has to do with the fact that in my life, I don't have a lot of influences personally of people who pulled themselves up by their bootstraps. The, the people in my life who have tried have got smacked down again and again. And for some, it has worked in the sense of increasing skills, getting a higher paid salary, getting a good job, all that jazz. Sure. For some, they've gone that route, and the company they're working for is going through hard times, and they've been stuck in a job that they hate for the last decade, and it's kind of working for them, kind of not. And so the riddle continues. Are you going to sit on the, the spectrum in the place of positivity? Like, I'll just keep putting effort into this thing. That's probably my default. That's probably where I sit is thinking that, look, right now I have this little problem. On the thing that I'm building, right? I, I can't figure out how to compile this data properly and filter it so it's actually useful and I can... Okay, so I'm going to figure out how to filter this data and then make it pretty to look at and then figure out a way to make that uh, consumable by someone, like uh, something that they can actually use. Then I gotta figure out marketing, and then some kind of business structure, and then add features to it so it's not just a random graph of company revenues over time. Sure, sure, sure. Many, many problems, but I focus on this one little thing, and I solve it, and tomorrow there will be another one, and another one. And over the course of the next 20 years, it's almost inevitable that some cool piece of fruit is gonna fall out of this effort tree that I'm planting right now. That's kind of my default. That's where I sit. And so I have to actively guard my mind against the other side of the spectrum, against the negativity part of it that says it'll never work out. It doesn't matter. It, lifestyle and income, right? It doesn't matter how much this goes up. This, this is crazy. This is like 7% student loans, 20% dead on credit cards. Like you want a dozen more kids. Your wife needs a new jacket. Friggin' car breaks down, like whatever it is. No matter what, it's not gonna work. And what do you mean you're gonna build a thing that other people are interested in using and, and maybe you can make a little cash off of that? And what do you mean you're gonna start a business? What do you mean you're gonna have a new skill and you won't be completely pushed out of the market because other people are more skilled and you're just gonna upgrade your career? That That's not gonna work. You're gonna be stuck like this your whole friggin' life. Dude... I have to guard my mind against that, against people making videos about how it's hopeless to get ahead, against books that talk about collapses of all the systems that we interact with every day. I cannot consume that stuff because I feel the pressure of having children, of having a marriage, of, of trying to take care of myself, of trying to perform in the workplace, of all of it combined. There's pressure on me to succeed. Even if that success is just don't die while you're like this so that the kids can go off and do their thing so that I can be there for them. I don't want that low of a bar of, of what my life's achievement will be. But as long as I maintain at least that, hopefully they'll look back and be like, well, hey, dad gave great hugs and he always listened. He did the best he could. That's a win in and of itself. And so with these other efforts, with me getting off of work and coming home and grinding my face off against a freaking 
set of data that, you know, you're trying to organize data across 5,000 different companies and the filter breaks 4,000 of them. Anyway, doing that, <laughs> I have to err on the side of positivity that it will work out. Because I don't know anything else to do other than get a night shift down at the docks and load boats. And unfortunately for me, I live in the landlocked state of Arizona. So they're not hiring down at the docks right now. <laughs> it's getting harder to pick up shifts. <laughs> so I, I've, I've been thinking about that a lot this morning. Just this air of negativity of decline of the society that we live in, of a, a death of possibility of growing past where you were born into. And it's scary and it's frustrating, especially when every day you're exhausted from working your hands to the bone. Sure, sure. But I invite you to come along on this journey with me. This journey, not this YouTube channel, not, not the video I'm making now, but this journey on putting effort into your life so that you can try, you can try to build something amazing. And you do it because you enjoy it. You do it because it's fun. You do it because you have dreams of things being better tomorrow. Because the other road for me, I'm just going to crawl inside a bottle and give up. And I can't do that. A, I can't do that and live with myself because of my family. And B, that's a miserable existence. I, I can't do that. So I have to sit down here and try to filter this data set. <laughs> and I'll figure out the next problem as it comes along. And fingers crossed, every day I work those 20 minutes to four hours. And within the next 20 years... I'll be eating that sweet, sweet fruit of success. Even now, the negs in my mind. It's not going to work. No one you know has ever done it. It's not going to work. It, you can't get ahead. This is just going to go like this and everything's going to go to heck. But I refuse to acknowledge that. I refuse to give in to that. I'm going to try. I'm going to make it work. And I invite you to let yourself believe the same, that you can do it, that you can have a better life. And I wish that for you. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. And good luck out there. Take care of yourselves.